Looking for an alternative to Starlink that you can use in the UK? In this video, we've taken a look at some of the best Starlink alternatives on the market at the moment to help you get online without using fixed line broadband. But before we get started, thanks to 3 for sponsoring this video. Their 4G hub and 5G hub products give you an easy, flexible way of getting online almost anywhere in the UK for a very reasonable monthly cost and with unlimited data included. So click the link in the description to their coverage checker and put in your postcode to see if you can get the 4G hub or 5G hub at your address where you are at the moment. Even if they weren't a video sponsor, we'd still say 3, 4G or 5G broadband is a really great alternative to Starlink in a lot of different locations around the UK. So let's explain why. Firstly, as we showed before, the plans start at less than £20 a month at the moment, while still coming with unlimited data, meaning the 4G hub and 5G hub are about a third the cost of Starlink at the moment, without the huge upfront cost, to buy a satellite dish. These two routers are really easy to set up. You just take the supplied SIM card, insert it into the router, plug it in, and wait for it to connect to 4G or 5G. If you get the 5G hub and go somewhere with 4G signal, it'll connect to 4G instead. You can use either of these devices anywhere in the UK with 3, 4G or 5G signal. Then once we got online with the 5G hub, you can expect speeds sort of similar or maybe a bit better than what you get with Starlink in the UK at the moment and with a much lower, more consistent latency as well. With the 4G hub, the speeds are still good at around 30 to 40 megabits most of the time. Given the speeds they offer, what they cost, and the fact you get unlimited data, we think if you can get them, the 4G hub or 5G hub are both really good alternatives to Starlink. The problem just is, you need strong 3, 4G or 5G signal. So make sure to click the link in the description to their coverage checker. And we've also linked to their coverage map in case you want to put in your postcode and see what their indoor and outdoor 4G and 5G signal looks like in the areas you want to get online. It is also worth mentioning, you can use 3 5G broadband without perfect indoor 5G signal. They've recently launched a 5G outdoor hub, which comes with an external antenna you can install on the outside of your property, which allowed us to get even better download and upload speeds. When you put in your postcode on their coverage checker, they'll redirect you to the device they think is best at the address you want to get online. One of the reasons you might be looking at Starlink is because the mobile signal in your area is really patchy, meaning that if you use the 3 broadband coverage checker, they might reject your address at the moment. If you look at their coverage map, or the map of any of the other mobile networks, these areas they reject normally only have good outdoor 4G signal. But there is a solution you might want to look at if you're in one of these areas. It's called fixed wireless broadband. There are companies that do a similar thing to what 3 is doing with the outdoor 5G hub, except rather than focusing on areas with weak 5G, they focus on remote locations with really weak 4G signal instead. These solutions involve an antenna, just like the 5G outdoor hub, but they'll come and install it professionally and get you set up with a router inside your house that'll create a hotspot you can use to get online. And because they're doing a professional installation, the first thing they'll do is check your postcode manually and do a site survey to ensure you'll get good speeds before you go forward with the installation. The first company we'd look at in this space is Airband. As you can see, they'll install an antenna on your house to pick up mobile signal, even if you can't get 4G on your phone on any of the big four networks. And there's another company called National Broadband that does this as well. They focus on connecting people to 4G in the countryside using an external antenna. And they'll choose the best mobile network to use of any of the big four, depending on which has the best signal at your address. The main downside to this technology is it is a bit expensive, but nowhere near the cost of Starlink at the moment. You can expect to pay about 30 to 40 pounds with Airband at the moment. And it's sort of a similar cost with National Broadband, although they have a pretty decent upfront fee. So click the links in the description to these two fixed wireless access providers to learn more about this tech and see if you can get it at your address. If you're somewhere really remote without any mobile signal and you don't want to use Starlink, 
You might be wondering if there are any other satellite internet providers you can use in the UK. There's a bit of a problem here. Starlink kind of has the market cornered and as a result, a lot of companies just resell their service. For example, there's this company called Birdie, I think that's how you say that, that is reselling Starlink as far as we're aware, based on how they describe their relationship. And even though this is one of the main satellite broadband companies in the UK, as far as we can work out, they've just gone into liquidation. There is also this company called FreedomSat, which does resell Starlink, but also has a separate satellite broadband option. The problem is, these plans are not very fast at all, they don't come with much data, and they're pretty expensive, given the amount of usage included. There is unlimited standard data, but it's really a gamble what your speeds will drop down to once you use up the allocated priority data. So if you want satellite internet, you're really limited to just Starlink in the UK at the moment, unless these sorts of plans from FreedomSat look like they might work for you. If you're moving around a lot, but you're often going to areas with mobile signal, there's one other Starlink alternative that you might like to consider. As well as their 5G hub, which takes a SIM and plugs into mains power, 3 also sells a mobile Wi-Fi device, which works in the same way, except it's tiny, about the size of a credit card, and takes a battery, meaning it doesn't have to be plugged in all the time. Even though it's so small and portable, it still offers really good speeds and strong Wi-Fi signal at close range. We got about 180 megabits using it, and downstairs, on the opposite side of the house to the router, we still got about 60, which is pretty good for such a small device. You can use 3 MiFi anywhere in the UK with 4G or 5G signal on their network, and the tariffs they sell it on both come with unlimited data, which is good to see. The reason we recommend the 5G hub more highly is even though it offers faster download speeds, it's a lot cheaper at just £19 a month at the moment with unlimited data compared to £28 a month with the 3 ZTE U50 mobile Wi-Fi device. But if you want something that doesn't plug into mains power and is really portable, especially when traveling, click the link in the description to the 3 mobile Wi-Fi deals page to see what it costs at the moment. And you might also like to look at their coverage map to see if you'll be able to get 4G or 5G speeds at the locations you're planning on using the MiFi device. Most of the alternatives we've looked at rely on the mobile network, either 4G or 5G. We know this isn't perfect, Starlink can help you get online in areas with absolutely no mobile signal at all, but even if you have extremely weak 4G signal, you should still be able to get online with decent speeds with a fixed wireless internet solution like the ones that Airband and National Broadband sell. And in most urban and suburban parts of the UK, you should be able to get online using something like the 5G hub, the 4G hub, or the 5G outdoor hub, depending on what the signal is like at your address. So for most people, the first thing we recommend doing is going to the 3 home broadband coverage map, which we've linked in the description, to see if you can use their wireless broadband service at your address at the moment. And also check out the other companies we've mentioned using their links in the description as well. And if you have any questions about finding an alternative to Starlink, let us know in the comments and we'll get back to you as soon as we can.